What's up everybody at Nimbus? Welcome back for part 40 of the Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword walkthrough. I'm your host Silver Slate. In the last episode, some amazing monster escaped. It was the imprisoned, but luckily we were able to seal it back again. And now we need to um, do something with this harp. No, this harp which we obtained uh, two episodes ago. And we need to have a song which Zelda used to play a lot, so... We have to find someone related to Zelda, and that's probably your father, the Headmaster, so let's go to the Knights Academy. And see if he knows anything about it. I certainly hope so. If he's at home, of course. Maybe, um, maybe people, I believe, know something. Hey Slate, you're looking pretty upbeat lately. That's the spirit. Zelda will be home before you even know it. Just keep on believing that you will wait for her to come back. While you wait. I don't think that will happen. No, you are of no use. I'm sorry. I'm just gonna go here and talk to the Headmaster. Headmaster Kibora. Maybe he knows anything. Oh, there he is. Yep, he has some uh, chat out about him. You're back, Slate. Good to see you're still in one piece. Yeah, that almost um, didn't happen in the last episode. How's it going down there? Are you any closer to finding my Zelda? Pretty much, but I need your help. Hmm, I see. My dear Zelda. Things must be terribly trying for her down there. It can't be easy for you now either, can it? No. What? Want to know the lyrics to the song Zelda sang on the day of the wing ceremony? You know, I'm not much of a singer. It's just lyrics. You just want the lyrics? Oh, what a relief. You really put me on the spot there for a moment. I believe the lyrics go something like this. Oh, you? Guided by... The servant of the goddess, unite earth and sky, and bring light to the land. That, I remember that, that's true. That's the first part, as I recall there's a second verse to the song. Okay, oh you, show the two ruling sails, the way to the light tower. And before you, a path shall open, and a heavenly song you shall hear. I believe that's the whole thing. The light tower mentioned in the song is a real place. I'm sure you've seen the tower in the plaza. I don't know a thing about two rolling sills, though. It sounds like the song is suggesting that if one shows these rolling sills the way to the tower, something will happen? But how do you go about doing that? What does it mean? Two rolling sills. Hmm. Yeah, that is interesting. Two whirling sills. Couldn't really have to do anything with silk loads, can it? Well, anyways, um, the light tower was, was mentioned, so... Maybe we just have to go to the light tower itself and see if we can find anything? Maybe the instrument itself is just what we need. Like, hmm, I don't even know. Let's just take a look. On to the plaza! And hoping that the light tower provides an answer to these questions which we've been asking ourselves. And you are probably wondering the same thing as I am. At least I hope so. So okay, let's go down here and I believe let me pick up a heart. Our soul is amazing. Um yeah, up there. Right in front of us is the light tower. So we're gonna dash for it. Oh, it's one of her, one of uh, Gruz's buddies and the brother of that sister which we saved. The brother of the sister, that usually makes sense, if it's the guy. Um, waiting for my stamina to recover, and let's go to the top of this place. This is the top of the light tower. Maybe I have to stand here and get this? Okay, I don't think this is gonna do anything. Wait, there's something right in here again. Let sound the goddess's sound beneath the light's radiance, unto her chosen hero shall fall, grace and grave guide us. Let Beneath the light's radiance. What's the light's radiance? Is something down here? Um, probably... No. Well, it's the um, song of the goddess, though. Hmm. Don't think this will do anything. Don't think this will do anything. It's under the light. Oh, ow. I should. But, um, under the light. What could that mean? Is there actually. Under the light. It's a light tower, so maybe it does something at night? Heck, I don't even know. 
Why don't we just go take a look and make this night and see if in the night we can find some. It would make sense though, considering like under the guiding light or something like that. It should mean that if we make it dark and there's actually light that we could find ourselves on a way to go. So for that we have to make it night and that's why I'm returning to the night academy to take a little nap. Okay. Let's go and take a sleep here. I wonder if Grus's room is actually a look since we um since he's now down there and he wants to stay there. He likes Earth a lot more than he likes um than he likes Skyloft. But yeah, like that's what people prefer. Do you guys, if you're still watching this right now, do you prefer um Earth or Sky? Where would you live? Leave that in the comments. I'm really interested to see what you guys think. I personally would um pick the sky. I love being in the sky. I love airplanes. I wish I could fly myself. Like actually have wings, but yeah. That's one of those fantasies which people have. Some want to fly, some want to teleport, some want to become invisible or create endless flows of money. It's depending on how you are actually as a person. It says something about you, I say. Hey, look! There is a um gratitude crystal. Kind of random there. But okay, we gotta collect more of them. Because I don't think we'll get a reward for having one more. That would be silly. Okay, so let's go out and back to the plaza and hope there's actually light there because I have to stand in the light and then play a sort of song. Well, that would, must be the um, Ballad of the Goddess. Is that the one actually on my... not on my map, of course, but is it on my menu? Ballad of the Goddess. Yeah. Oh, I almost... I unequipped my shield and I didn't even notice that. Because I pressed the minus button and something happened, but I couldn't really tell what it was until I saw that my um, shield was equipped. Okay, so it's night time. I hope there's actually light from the light tower. That will make sense. Or maybe I just have to go back to the planet. I don't even know. We'll find out soon enough. Okay, let's ignore those uh, creatures. Hmm, it's really nice though. Sky up in sky up in the night is a nice place. I'm going the wrong way though, because the um, plaza is somewhere else. And that's Mia who is um, pretty pissed off at me. I still need to figure out why Mia is um, like this. One day I'll find it out, don't you worry. One day I shall find it out. And I just ran around in a circle, didn't I? I pretty much did. It's hmm. okay though. This must be the plot. This must be the. Um, the bazaar, so that means I can um, find the light tower down there. Uh, I don't even know where is this place. Am I like really this confused? Yeah, I'm just going. I'm going the complete opposite way of where I'm supposed to go. Oh, there's a light tower, but I don't see any light. Hmm. Maybe Fee knows anything. Okay, is this? Is he still behind me? No, he decided to play. A really wise choice if you don't want to get murdered. Okay, let's get up here. Maybe, I repeat, maybe there's something up here which I could use to my full extent. But it doesn't really seem to be like that. Unless this light has become brighter though. Let's see. Let's sound the gas from beneath the light. This is the confusing part. Beneath the light's radiance. The radiance of the light. Um. I don't think this will do anything. Would make sense if I had actually vocals here. Okay, maybe Fee knows anything. He calls for me. Some uh, the objective, please. The lyrics to the Ballad of the Goddess that you heard from Gebora mentioned directing the two great whirling sails toward the light tower. That tower stands at Skylar's Plaza. Though the meaning of this phrase is unclear, I recommend you search around Skylar for two things that could be construed as whirling sails. Total playtime 29 hours. Yeah, that includes the time I've left on my Wii. But, yeah, this walkthrough is already a large walkthrough already. And, yeah. We still have a lot to go, but now we need to look for things which... Um. Hmm. Let me kill those guys up first. Two things which could be confused for si for whirling sills. Well, my soul club is one, but 
I don't think that's what this um, means. Warring Souls, this is gonna be difficult. Since you have a whole Skyla for two certain aspects, really? Hmm. Gonna be a difficult search. It's graveyard. It doesn't really seem to be anything. There's a roaster here. Or roster. Nope. It doesn't say anything. Um, things which could be confused as uh, rolling cells. That is critical. That's when I notice from every Zelda game. Every Zelda game is that one critical spot. Well, the windmill could not be it, could it? Or could it? Hmm. We can try. Oh. Let me see. No, it doesn't really seem to be it. What is that up there? I don't think a windmill is actually meant to work, so. Although I keep it in mind, though, since we're obviously we're gonna have to look for the proper, um, proper stuff here. So just looking around Skyloft. Looking around Skyloft. Mia, please get some anger management pills or anything that helps. Wait, there are more cats? They're all angry. Hmm. That is not good. Um, what's that? That is a flag. I don't think that could be a silk glove. <sighs> I'm pretty much. Don't tell me I'm stuck here. This is. This could not be it. No way. I could try, but I don't think that will be it. Uh, come on. What could that be? Maybe something regarding to the statue of the goddess? I could try anyways, but mm, let's just go there. Maybe it's gonna not hurt going there. Is there anything here that could be mistaken as a silk glove? Uh, no, no, and no. Nah, that's not it. Man, we are in a pretty much complicated spot here because we gotta look around Skyloft. I hope not actually around Skyloft and not in Skyloft. I certainly hope so. <sighs> hmm, lost. Typical aspect of Zelda games. There's always one point in the game where you actually get stuck, especially if this is your first playthrough. Which is in my case. Okay, now that bell could not be it. Good. It's. Um, I don't think ringing the bell would do anything, but hey. Okay. Well, it gives me a rupee. Yeah, that's totally worth the um, troubles. One rupee. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I think I'm pretty much stuck right now, and I'm gonna have to look around until I find what I need. Man, this is... This turned out to be rather complicated. It obviously has to do with the light tower. Maybe I don't even have to search in the night. Hmm. Okay, come on. Come on. Okay, there we go. What could it be? I still... Is that the same one, Will? Oh, you can attack the cat? Ah, hey, 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 this is getting suspicious because I get lost, cat. Um, yeah, this might actually... Oh, wait, I can uh, make this face. This cat is, like, really hurting me. No, I can make this face the, um... Oh, no, no. Seriously? Ah, oh, man, get lost. There we go. Uh, oh wait, will it move back if I don't do anything? No, it will not. I have to move it around the circles. But these two windmills must be facing... Uh, must be facing the goddess's tower, as there's actually an aiming point there, look at it. But the other one, wasn't the pinwheel missing? Or so it seemed. Okay, let me just keep this one going. For like a whole circle. And... Is it aiming in the proper position? This should be the first um, point. Gotta be a little bit more careful here. Okay, now it lighted up. But the other one. Um, the other one. Where was it? Wasn't it up there or something? Yeah, it's up there, but there was something with it. Hmm. I'm gonna go check that one out really quick. 
I could have sworn that the pinwheel was missing. If that's the case, then we got a problem. Then the first thing we gotta do is search that pinwheel so we can uh, reactivate the um, control mechanism so we can turn it into the right spot. Yeah, the pinwheel is missing. Oh boy, that is not good. I don't think we can do anything with that unless we find the pinwheel. Maybe her advice has changed? Or the, uh, the objective? Maybe the advice. Let me check that. Yes, Master, what information is sick? Um, a hint, please. I hope she actually has something. You can use the treasure material to find it. Yeah, I know this. I know that. Okay, let's go. Let's do that again, but this time for the objective. Maybe it changed. Hmm. Lyrics and her mentioned two warning cells with the light tower. The tower sent to the plaza. Although the meaning of this phrase, yeah, search around for the things could be construed of whirling cells. That's this. But I cannot I cannot really turn this because the pinwheel, like I said, this this whole um mechanism here which um turns it is missing. Huh. I guess I have to find that one first. I can I'm actually gonna take a seat and restore my heart in case you didn't know that. One, two, three. I have a nice, nice sight around here. That's a really interesting sight. But yeah, we gotta look for this pinwheel probably. To um, twist this one, facing the tower, and then probably something's probably gonna happen. But that will all happen in the next episode of The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. I hope you're all enjoying. And in the next episode we're gonna try to um, move this windmill to the proper direction. Until then, this was Silver Sleet. Signing out.